What's going on guys? This is, today's is Jason from G-Style Magazine and today we are talking about nothing but cases. Basically cases for the Google Pixel 5. Now we do have some cases here for the Google Pixel 4a 5G, but since it's still kind of on pre-order at the time of this video, you know, we won't touch on that too, too much, but we'll show off cases that we got in a bunch here that also have an equivalent for them as well. So I'm kind of gonna go from left your right to right and kind of touch on the cases we have today and then at the end of this video I'll kind of actually I'm gonna go from right your left to left here and then at the end of it we'll talk about the video you know the cases that I like the best and you know kind of like my top three favorite of this collection here so going all the way to the right here we have this case from life proof and I give them kudos because it says it's made with ocean-based ocean -based plastic. Now, that does kind of sound like an oxymoron because, you know, ocean and plastic generally are not two things that go well together. So this case is made from a 85% ocean-based plastic. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what ocean-based plastic is, but I'll be sure to look it up as well. Power of Google. So I do like their packaging. First of all, you know, the packaging is really good. And I like cases or packaging that makes it easy to get the case out without having to fight for it. And with this one, I just gotta slide out, pull the case out. So the one we have here, it comes in black. It is a basic hard plastic. Um, you know, not rigid, you know, it is rigid, but not as flexible. But as you can see, as it fell out my hand, I don't like cases like these because it is highly slippery. There's some design patterns here that you would think would help improve grippability, but it doesn't. So if you're not really careful, you know, that new Pixel 5 you just got, if you're not holding it just right, it is going to, let's see. Yep, slide out of your hands. And that could have been you and your phone. It's supposed to protect it, but I don't like phones that slide that easily i tried this case for all of uh 15 minutes and i decided this was not the case for me so i put it back in the box and i moved on to the next one now sliding further now to the left we have the spec case and I, I, I do like the spec brand they do make good cases and this one is their Procentio. Procentio. don't don't get me up exo skin with grips so another good packaging here we all you gotta do is slide it out case comes out easily now they do have a case for the pixel 5 they also have the same exact version for the pixel 4a 5g so if you pick up that phone they do have this case for it now this has a little bit more flexibility to it which i do like and it feels nice to the touch you know they do have these little ridges on here that add nice grips on the sides and the backs and i give them kudos for that um that is something that i look i look for in any case the case i have should not only protect my phone but it should help alleviate the fear of it falling out of my hand when i'm one handing it so if i hold this real quick you know same amount of grip i kind of gave that life proof case is not moving from my hand so you know if i let go a little bit it slides a little bit but it's catching on these ridges on the side which helps me grip on to the case so this one is a nice case this, this comes in a black and i like i like the feel of it um i honestly didn't keep using this i used this for me about a couple days and nothing against the spec case it was just um i don't know kind of bland kind of plain um just didn't really catch my attention like that. I kind of go through cases until I find one that just gels with me and then I kind of hold on to that one for a little while. So this is a nice case as well. Um, back into the case, packaging it goes. I really do like when they make the packaging much easier to get case out. All right, so then we have two here from Zag and this is this line is called a Gear 4. They have it for both the Pixel 5 and the Pixel 4a 5G. So depending on which one you get, they do have both. Good packaging, slides out. Now this case is called the Crystal Palace. 
And it says this case uses D30 Crystal X, the clearest, thinnest, most advanced impact protection material in the world. Okay, nice. I don't like this case of the back. I'm, I'm gonna not even gonna lie. I didn't even try it, didn't even use it because I'm just not a fan of clear cases because one, they seem to attract dust and debris and I find myself seeing that on this side and I kind of get, it gets on my nerves because I, I got to take the case off and clean it. But you know, I just have a bad track, re track record with clear cases. Now, the phone I have, I have the Pixel 5 in just black. So a clear case doesn't really do the black color much justice. And you know, I just, it doesn't really bring out the black more. I think it actually detracts away from it. So I tend not to want to use um, clear cases on plain black colors. Now, if you get the sort of sage, okay, that might work better. Um, but like I said, I'm just not a fan of clear cases for a couple of reasons. One, sometimes they usually have like these little flexible kind of rubbery parts on certain areas. And I just find over time, they kind of warp and then it's just kind of flappy and moving around I just make it attract from the case. And then while this one seems to be more plastic than kind of a rubbery substance, I do know a lot of clear cases for some reason over time turn kind of yellowish. I'm not saying that this one would, but just because of the track record with clear cases, I tend to avoid this. Now, if I had this sort of sage color, all right, I might, um, you know, I might, I might try it out and, you know, cause, you know, I want that green color to show, but you know, like I said, I had, I have just black. So clear cases wasn't really a thing for me. So I didn't even try this one. And then I don't, I'll show it on this one. Like I said, they have it for the pixel five and the four, a five G. The other one they have is called the Wimbley, the Wimbley palette. Um, this case uses the same D3, the Dennis, most advanced impact protection material in the world. Is that true? I don't know. Um, some of the features of it, slim design, corner protection, and treat it with an antibacterial technology. Okay, 5G compatible. I don't know what that means, but this case, I'm not going to like, I actually like. So this is kind of a translucent case, um, kind of a shaded grayish with black cornering. Um, has some flexibility here so i do like that i do like the way it feels on the inside um this is actually the case that i'm using right now primarily on my pixel 5 i actually show you here so this is my pixel 5 and this is kind of me using that same clear case that this has and you know if you have i mean if you had sort of sage it'll probably give it like a nice muted shaded look to it in the back but for the just black color i I think this goes pretty well with it since it has kind of black edging on the top and bottom and it has this kind of grayish shaded look to it. I think it just complements the Pixel 5 well, especially if you have the just black color. So this has actually been the case I've been using the most right now and I like it. It has, it has good grip to it. Doesn't, you know, move with my hand. You know, I mean, it's gonna slide a little bit, but I have to kind of really let it go. You know, so it stays, the friction kind of keeps it and um, I like this case. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. So, good job, Gear 4, with their Wimbley palette case. All right, continuing on, we have Insepio. And this is a case for the Pixel 5. Um, this is called its Grip Case. It's a slim case with impact protection with grips. Um, tactile, no slip grips. Always a plus. I like the color, it's a nice blue color. Um, I used this case again for a couple days. Nothing against it. It was just kind of kind of bland to me. It didn't really stand out to me. You know, nothing against the case. I do like that it has these little grips on the side that definitely does keep the phone in your hand if you're holding it. You know, I can kind of let it go a little bit and those grips are firmly catching on my fingers. I do like that. I do like that. Um, it was nice, you know, cases are kind of like clothes, you know, so everyone will find something they do like. This one just wasn't it for me, but it is a decent case and the Sepio does usually make good cases. So, you know, if you're looking for a Pixel 5 case for some extra grips, tactile, no slip grip as they call it, 
then this is kind of where you want to go. All right, so outer box. This is from the Symmetry series. Um, this is a Pixel 5 case. Outer box is the only one out this group that doesn't have a real easy slide out kind of thing. So I had to kind of, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta pull it out here. But once again, it's a clear case. And I believe they have this also in black. So they have this in black, coat black. Um, hard plastic, you know, good protection. If you have the sort of sage color, okay. You pick up a clear case so you can let your color shine through. But for me, in clear cases, torrent history, I, I literally will not touch them. The only kind of clear case I used recently was a one for the Pixel 4 XL when I had it. Um, and that was for a company named Catalyst. They actually had a really good, cool, clear case. And, you know, I used that because I kind of wanted that panda white to show through. But if you have a just black phone, I just don't see the point of a clear case. All right, so I got about two cases left on our ensemble today, but before I get to those, um, if you're liking this video so far, be sure to click a like and a subscribe, and you know, just click that little bell icon, so that way you can know when we put the newest videos up. All right, before I get to the very last case, with this one I'm gonna save it last, because I just picked this one up. I'm gonna go over to Spigen. Spigen has, again, like the other box, not an easy case to uh, actually no no it has a little tab on top so you can kind of these open it easier so you pop that open slide it out now this is a kind of clear case as well but i do give see this is the kind of clear case i probably would rock with and i actually have used this for a little bit on my um, pixel 5 so it's a clear case but then it has a nice kind of black border around the edges so it kind of adds a little contrast to it, gives an extra dimension to it, and actually kind of, that lured me in enough to want to try a clear case. I, and this one in particular, even though you probably will come out better if you have this sort of sage color, this I think it looks equally well if you use it with the just black color as well. So I have actually used the Pixel 5 with this just black. All right, now the last of the gambit. This one is not a traditional case like the rest of them. This is actually part of a mounting system. So this case is called Quad Lock. And I picked up, I actually purchased this recently, um, the Pixel 5 case to go with my Pixel 5. And the reason I like the Quad Lock is because it has a whole ecosystem to it. So this right here says the lightest, strongest, and most secure mounting system this is compatible with all quad lock mounts, impact resistant case, complete edge to edge protection, easy to install and remove. Easy to install, not always as, I mean, it comes off easily enough, but not as easy to remove, just from experience. But you know, you can use this one case with, across multiple mounts. So their mounting system um, has a, a bunch of different products. So you can have it for on, which is the reason why I picked it up is to use this for my motorcycle. Now, I will give a little bit more story with Quad Lock because I kind of have a history with them as well. So originally, I had I first started using Quad Lock back when I had um, my Pixel 3 XL and loved the mount, to, had it for my bike, was phenomenal, and then it broke my phone. Because of the vibrations of the bike, and I guess being so locked into place, it passed that vibration to the phone. It pretty much bricked the phone's camera. I thought at the time, maybe it was just the phone messed up or something. And you know, I launched the phone app, it kept crashing, it just would never work again. So okay, maybe just the phone had a problem. So I, at the time, I didn't know it was the lock, the quad lock. I had a replacement phone come in, setting everything up. Went for a ride after one weekend, Monday morning, that camera was gone. So I was like, okay, what is going on? Apparently it was the quad lock. Even though they want to say, you know, that probably wasn't the case, it only affected less than 1%. That's what ultimately happened. So I literally swore off quad lock and I would not recommend it to anyone else just because two back, two phones back to back bricked. As far as the camera, that I just wouldn't, I just wouldn't trust this again. At least on a motorcycle, on the car, on a desk, anything else, that's fine. Great case, but I just want to put on a motorcycle. Now, 
the reason I brought this one now, and I'm willing to try it for the Pixel 5, is because Quad Lock seemed to acknowledge that maybe there's a bigger problem than they thought. So they came out with a piece called a vibration dampener that goes on top of the mount, and then you put the phone onto that, and that reduces the vibrations. And I've been testing that with the Pixel 3 XL a little bit just to kind of feel the vibration as I rode. And it seems to have reduced the vibration because before that vibration was just crazy. So with this attached to it now, I decided, okay, I'll get the Pixel 5 case and I'll give it a try. All right, so these are all the cases that I have on display today. But now, which are the ones that, I will, that really stand out, the ones I really want to use again, and probably with the ones I consider my top three. All right, so going with number one, and that is the one I'm currently using right now, and that is the Gear 4 Wembley Palette case. Something about this case I just love. You know, like I said, I have it on the Pixel 5. I think it looks great on the Pixel 5. Feels nice, it's light, it's flexible, and you know, I really do enjoy using this. Even though I may switch to something else just to, you know, for flavor and variety, I probably will keep coming back to this case just because it just, it's just wonderful. You know, I'll definitely put the price and a link to it in the description below if you're interested in that. And I'll pretty much do that with all the cases here. If you're interested in picking up these cases, I'll make sure I'll put links in the description below for them. All right, so this is pr probably my number one choice and the one I'm probably gonna be using the most right now. Number two, I'm gonna go hmm, with the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case for the Pixel 5. I really do like this, even though I'm usually not a fan of clear cases. I do like the clear case with the black border around it. So because of that, I'm, I'm gonna go with after number two. And lastly, I'm going to go with this quad lock case for the Pixel 5. Mainly because it is a great case on its own. You know, it's very strong, very durable, but then you get opened up to this whole ecosystem of other mounting platforms you can add it. I can throw it on my bike, I can throw it on my car, I can put it on my desk and wirelessly charge it. I can adhere it to a wall if I want to go for a run, just snap it onto my arm and just do my thing. So I do like, you know, the mounting system that comes with the case as well. So these are my top three. These are all the cases for the Pixel 5 with some coming also for the Pixel 4a 5G. Um, out of these that I've talked about today, let me know which ones you're interested in. Or if, let's just scrap the whole table. Maybe you got some cases yourself that you think are much better than these, let us know in the comment and I'll probably want to check them out too. Anyway, that's it for now. As always, you're watching G Style Magazine. I'm Jason Anderson, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Take care.